Hi, I'm Brian Wong with NewCars.com and we're here at Kia Sherman Oaks to check out the redesigned 2012 Kia Rio. For 2012, the Rio got a complete redesign, which means that it got a brand new interior and exterior treatment. Up front, you get a brand new grille and new headlights, and in the back, the look is completely changed as well. Now, we're standing here with the Rio sedan, but there's also another version of the Rio that's available called the Rio 5, which is a five-door hatchback. Now, personally, I like the styling of the hatchback a little more, but keep in mind that between the two cars, the features and the engines that you get are identical. Now, speaking of the engines, the engine is also brand new for 2012. It's a 138 horsepower, 1.6 liter four cylinder that also features direct injection, which is technology you usually don't find on cars in the subcompact class. Um, this, this engine, combined with new six speed manual and automatic transmissions, will net you 30 miles per gallon in the city and 40 miles per gallon on the highway. Now, this particular Rio is also outfitted with Kia's new eco management system, which means that the engine actually features start stop technology. So when you pull to a stoplight and you stop the car, the engine will actually shut down and then start up again right when you release the brake pedal. Now Kia says that this system is good for a 3% increase in city miles per gallon, so that bumps your city MPG up to 31. Now for 2012, the Rio also got a redesigned interior, which means it got a brand new console layout and a brand new instrument panel, um, which is actually very large and easy to read. Uh, one thing that's interesting to know about the Rio is that, like the Soul and like many of the other new Kias, it comes with a lot more standard features than its base price would suggest. So it starts at just under $14,000, but every Rio comes with features like air conditioning, auxiliary and USB audio inputs, and steering wheel audio controls. Now today we're sitting inside the EX trim, which is the mid-level trim, and that actually adds Bluetooth connectivity as a standard feature. Um, the car that we happen to be in today is even equipped with Kia's Uvo Entertainment System. Now this is a brand new system for 2012, and it works to pair your smartphone to the car. And therefore the system will actually read aloud text messages, it will stream audio from your phone, and it will even import your contacts so that you can make calls and do all these other things using these controls on the steering wheel. And that allows you to keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road, which makes it safer as well. Um, Uvo also integrates a backup camera which comes standard with that system. One thing that we particularly like about the Rio is the redesign of the center stack. Now a lot of the new cars today, they come with very cluttered uh, center consoles here with a lot of buttons and bells and whistles. Um, Kia's kind of gone the opposite route. It's kind of a minimalistic approach. Everything is very clearly labeled in uh, big letters and there's not too many buttons and clutter and we think that that's a good thing. Um, a lot of the cars today, that's, it's hard to kind of figure out everything and you'll find yourself poking around for buttons. But here in the Rio, um, all the controls are very logically laid out and it's easy to find whatever you want. Um, we particularly like the climate controls. We think that the design is very functional and simply put, it looks good. Um, it also comes with this nice storage space down here underneath the center console with a little slot where you can fit your iPod or your phone into and it won't slide around. One of the things that we don't really like about the Rio uh, would have to be the back seat. Um, I set up this seat right here for me. I'm 5'11" and sitting behind it, I definitely felt cramped. There wasn't a whole lot of leg room. But again, that's something that you would expect from a car in this segment. Um, it's a problem that most subcompacts have. They're just not designed to really fit five people comfortably and the Rio falls into that category. But on the whole, we're definitely impressed with the Rio. It comes with uh, high quality materials and craftsmanship that you would find in a car that you would expect to cost much more than this. The newly redesigned 2012 Rio is a very welcome change from its predecessor, which wasn't a word, a pretty boring car. However, this new Rio has exciting exterior styling and a bunch of new features to back it up, including on this car, power folding side mirrors, just as an example of how well outfitted the Rio actually is. So if you're in a market for a commuter car, the Rio and its 30 miles per gallon city and 40 miles per gallon highway definitely deserves consideration. For more information on the 2012 Rio, or to get a low internet price quote from a local dealer, head over to newcars.com. Thanks for watching.